Hi, I'm Tara, and I'm here today with Bernadette Niblo. She is a registered massage therapist of Soma Balance Massage Therapy. And mm. it's really cool that massage in the last few years really has kind of taken a change where people are seeing this really as a therapy, a therapeutic, not just how I get relaxed I'm on vacation, but there's a lot of health benefits and that people are starting to come to that understanding. So we're going to talk today a little bit about different types of massages and a little bit about the etiquette, the do's and the don'ts. <laughs> um, it's funny, I love, obviously, to get a massage, but someone like my mom doesn't, and I think that's because they don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. They don't know, ooh, that's a little bit weird. I'm going to be undressing. So you're going to talk a little bit about how to Definitely. handle that. <laughs> um, so what are there? So many different types of massage. How do I even know which one's going to be the right one for me or what do I ask for? Okay, well, um, you know, your basic type of massage is Swedish. So uh, that's kind of more your introductory type, you know, general relaxation-oriented massage okay. using, like, longer strokes, usually lighter pressure. Um, it's generally the first form of massage therapy that you learn in almost any school. Okay. Um, deep tissue covers kind of a wide range. Um, you know, there's different deep tissue techniques that um, are more like Swedish. Some get very, very specific and use tools like neuromuscular. They have the T-bars. I don't know if you've ever seen mm -hmm. those. They're basically just wooden bars that you use to work a very really specific Really get into site. deep. Yeah, okay. definitely. Now that may not be so relaxing. Not necessarily. <laughs> Maybe it's, <laughs> I like to say it's not feel good during the massage, but it's feel good after. Okay. So and deep tissue yeah. is going to be more maybe not, oh, I'm totally relaxed, but afterwards, ooh, I really feel. Yeah, you great. have more range of motion. You have more flexibility. You, um, you know, your muscle wow. is able to, like, get the nutrients it needs because when a muscle is contracted, you know, it's not letting anything in or out. So there's no toxins coming out. There's no oxygen going mm. in. So that's why when you're, you know, stressed out and tense, um, a lot of times you can feel very weak because your muscles are not actually getting the nutrients that they need. Interesting. Any other kind of real popular ones outside of this uh, Swedish and Duke tissue? Um, the, I think probably the most popular other ones are probably like reflexology. Mm -hmm. um, everyone knows about that. That's working different areas and organs throughout the body through the feet and the hands. Um, there's also lymphatic drainage, which stimulates the immune system. Oh, that's um, good to know this time of year. Most definitely. Yeah, okay. even like 15 minutes of a lymphatic drainage session can like boost your immune system to wow. probably, you know, in some cases it may... Um, just boost your immune system so much that you won't even express the entire illness that's coming to attack you. <laughs> wow. So now, what are some etiquettes, do's and don'ts? I know we always kind of joke, the big thing is, do I take my underwear off or do I leave it on? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the kind of thing, you, particularly the first time you see a massage therapist you don't have a relationship with, mm -hmm. what is the protocol with the panties? <laughs> <laughs> it's totally up to you. Okay. If you're comfortable removing them, then that's fine. You know, if you're not comfortable, you can leave them on. Um, the first time I ever worked on my dad, he was just adamant about not taking anything off. And so... You know, it was fine. It was a little bit more difficult because you can't do anything gliding, but, um, you know, you're able to do different pressure points, um, work different areas, you know, do some compression and kneading and stuff like that. So even if you don't want to remove anything, you can still get a pretty decent massage. I was surprised. You said you have people who do massages where they don't disrobe. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Um, if, depending on, you know, what your target area is for lymph drainage, you can keep your clothes on. Uh, cranial sacral, um, they're more subtle therapies and they don't, they don't even use, you know, oil or lotion or anything. Wow. So um, it's, it's, it's – and also when you uh, do certain ones like lymph drainage and cranial sacral, um, the client tends to get a little bit more cold. So keeping your clothes on can definitely be more beneficial. So beneficial. it's really – there's no necessarily status quo. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Definitely, yeah. Okay. So when I go, if I haven't done a massage before, what kind of things am I going to expect from the time I walk in that door? Well, the first thing that should happen is um, you'll fill out a health intake form. Um, you really want to make sure that you are disclosing as much as you can remember or um, is, you know, available to you um, about your health history. You know, injuries, um, surgeries, medications. Medications is a big one because um, depending on what type of medication you're on and what it's for, you know, your therapist may not be able to do certain things with you. Like um, if you're on daily aspirin therapy, um, that's an indication that you may have blood clots or have a history of blood clots in your family. So um, getting deeper work could dislodge a clot and send it to your brain or your heart, and that would be really bad. So, <laughs> so. even something small like that I need to discuss. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And, uh, you know, massage works on uh, increasing the circulation in the body. So, you know, if you're on, you know, Botox, you don't want to do that kind of yeah, but that would be nothing I would ever think to disclose. Well, I know, exactly. People don't know. But, yeah. like, you know, you people that have Botox or have it injected into specific areas, and by circulating that, you know, you're kind of dispersing it, and it's not going to work the way it was intended to. Wow. 
all that Botox. We need to start talking about it. <laughs> um, now, the other thing would just be I want to kind of close up with the boundaries. Okay. Because everybody has different comfort levels of boundaries. Mm-hmm. So how do you address that at a massage? Um, whenever you feel uncomfortable during a massage, before a massage, you know, definitely bring that up to your therapist. Let them know um, if you have specific boundaries. Like, you know, if, I mean, even something as silly as, like, a bruise, if it hurts, you know, just let them know so that they know ahead of time. But if you have something more um, serious, like if, and this is going to the extreme, but if, you know, you have been strangled before and you don't want anybody going around your neck area because it just is mm-hmm. uncomfortable, then let them know. You don't necessarily have to tell them why. Just say, you know, I'm uncomfortable with you working on this area. Hmm. Um, or if they start doing a technique that they don't like, just let them know. Or if the pressure becomes, you know, too much or whatever, just make sure that you let your therapist know um, kind of where your boundaries are and uh, if you cross theirs, they will definitely let you know too. <laughs> so there really is a, a communication that we need because it helps you out to be able to give me the best massage, which obviously you want me to work, come back. Exactly. But it also helps me out, you know, on both ends that I'm yeah. being able to say this is what's important to me. So it's not, don't feel like, oh, you can't say anything. She's yeah. the expert. This really is a communication. Definitely. Anyway. And the better feedback you give, the better we can adjust our massages for you. Sure. And, um, you know, we can feel what's going on with your body, but that may, may not be what your mind is ready for. Interesting. You know? Well, thank you so much today. We've got some great tips. Now don't we all just want to go out and have a (laughs) massage? So thank you for being here, Bernadette. Thank you for stopping by. We will see you next week.